Berlin Verlag was founded in 1995 by two editors that formerly worked for Fischer Verlag, uh, a publisher that you're probably familiar with. They had worked there for a long time and brought prestigious authors with them, like Nadine Gordema, Margaret Atwood, Richard Ford. And so in the first list in 1995, there were books by those three authors, among others, and that was one of the reasons why we were taken seriously right from the beginning, because we were a new publishing house that no one knew of, but we had name prestigious authors, and so everyone watched, everyone listened, everyone read. And that was a very good start, of course. Since then, um, international literature has always played a big role for Berlin Verlag. Um, we have always published from Dutch, I have to say. The first Flemish author is just to be published next year, Peter Terin. We're very happy that he will be in our list. Um, we have always translated a lot from Israel, and the English language literature has played a big role. Um, we started with the Berlin Verlag, the literary section, and also published nonfiction. In 2001, the paper book list was founded, and in 2004, Bloomsbury Berlin, which is a more commercial list. And now, to not overdo it with dire facts, I will talk about the two books that I was asked to present. One of them is Hila Bloom, The Visit. Uh, she comes from Israel. She has been published in the Netherlands by the Bezige Bay. So maybe you have seen or come across the book. It looks very different here. Um, it is a modern love and family novel, a very literary novel that um, comes in the wake of uh, novelists like Serouya Shalev. It's very intense literary writing and um, also follows a suspense that is rare in a f family novel because it starts with a call they get from someone they used to know in Paris sometime years and years back that helped them on an awful night that they don't like to remember and that they have not always spoken the truth about to each other. And so while this call comes in and uh, the millionaire announces that he will come to Jerusalem and would like to meet them. You, you feel like their world is scattered and uh, shaken and things are try beginning to fall apart. Um, you learn about a family in Jerusalem where like political um, happenings come in but are not the center of the book. And it's just a very intense impression of a modern family, modern patchwork family, a love story, and also some ideas of what life is like in Israel today. Another book that I'm very proud of to have been working on is by Margaret Edward. Um, it's called Mad Adam in the original. It's the last in a trilogy. The first was Oryx and Crake, and then the year of the flood, and this is the end of it. It's a dystopian novel, and it's um, it has been such fun to work with an author who is, she turned 75th, uh, five this year, and still almost all people in the book are young. They're in the beginning of their 20s, and the way she captures... Um, Youngsters' speech and dialogue and the freshness of it is uh, something that most uh, contemporary young authors could really, um, well, they could look over her shoulder. It's, it's very amazing. And um, so that is the variety you get with Berlin Verlag. You have debuts from Israel and you have those prestigious authors like Margaret Edward, Nadine Gordima sadly has passed away, William Boyd, Sylvia Shalev, um, or Richard Ford, who's not with us anymore, but yeah, who gave Berlin Verlag a good start and made the reputation for a literary publishing house. And allow me one last sentence, we, just to see you what we have been publishing in the Dutch literature. It's Vincent Overeem from the Basic Bay, Stefan Enter, Grip uh, von Van Orschot, Esther Geritsen, which is called Durst, in Dutch, and Peter Terin to come. There have been more, but those are the ones of the recent years. We've also published Robert Hasnot, 
um, P.F. Tomese or Marie Kessels. And so you see, we have the enthusiasm for Flemish and Dutch literature and we hope to find something new maybe in this week. Thank you.